going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Vicpin with Twisted420 has returned. That's right, people. And we are back. We are back. We are back with another review. It's another review on a no 21700 device. This is going to be the year of bigger batteries, people. 2700 and 21700s shall rule the day. But for now, all we're talking about is the E-Leaf iStick Pico 21700, people. The Pico 21700. And um, it's a mixed bag for me. I like a lot of stuff, but then we'll, we'll get all into it. We'll get all into it. But first, you need to understand what this is. This is a single 21700 100 watt temp control bypass mode TCR blah 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 mod <laughs> and it comes with this Elo tank this Elo sub ohm tank this tank I like it it reminds me of like a baby mellow 300 and I love the mellow 300 one of my favorite sub ohm tanks and uh, yeah that you actually get a good tank with the kit this time people it's actually a really good tank okay Okay, oh yeah, they got this thing in a bunch of different colors. I got the black one, which I'm happy with, because E-Leaf is just not the best at anodizing. I saw, just looking at the pictures of the other ones online, the pinks and the yellows and stuff, I, I just know it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a good looking device, okay? So I'm glad I got this basic bitch black right here. It looks good, okay? Um, what should we do here? We need to talk about what's in the fucking packaging, people. What's inside the box? You open it up, you're gonna have a mod and a tank. Mind out, by default, the tank comes in its two mil configuration. Configuration. You get a little piece to make it four mil. We'll get into that too. Anyway, beyond that, you're also going to get an extra glass, the one that makes it taller. You get a taller glass. You're going to get the spacer that you add inside to make it taller and an extra drip tip, this big 810 drip tip that I'm using. I like it a lot. And you get some extra O-rings and crap like that and a micro USB charging cable, of course. And you also get this little bitty cap to where if you wanted to use an 18650, you could still use it in this device. Cool. Cool, all right? Now with the packaging, one of the biggest standouts is this guy comes pre-installed with a 21700 battery. It's the same brand that Joytex using. I'm not really familiar with them, but they're supposed to be 4000 mAh 30 amp. They come in there and they put a little sticker over the top of it to make sure you don't have any contact, make sure it doesn't activate in the device somehow. Pretty cool, that's a good value, especially when we're talking about something that sells for around 40 to 50 bucks. Damn it, I'm just now mentioning the price. I talked about the colors, everything else. I talked about the packaging and I'm just now getting to the price. Yeah, with battery, around 40 to 50 bucks. So really all you would have to do is just add juice to this guy. That, that's a pretty good deal. That's a pretty good deal. So that's what's going on inside the packaging. Now we must discuss these guys. We gotta talk about these guys. Uh, for one, like I said, uh, this is a baby mellow. It's got that same slide back top feel that I absolutely love. Uh, it's got these different coils, these dual cylinder HW2 coils. Uh, this is 0.3 ohm. It says good 30 to 70 watts. 100 watt device. I can dig it. Right now I'm rocking this bad boy at 55 watts in its 4 mil configuration. And I gotta say, I enjoy it. Damn it. Now let's discuss this mod. This is where we get the mixed bag. Now I love the new technology with the 21700 and including a battery. But then you get to like, you know, you got this old school screen. E-Leaf, I don't think E-Leaf's kind of, they're, they're, they're chilling. They're stuck in the waves right now. They're like, we ain't doing nothing. Same screen we've been seeing on Picos for quite some time. It's pretty easy to use. Three clicks, you can switch all the different modes. You got battery monitoring there, all the information you need. It's just a bit of an antiquated screen. But it works well. It's bright enough. It works, okay? Buttons on the bottom. The button's on the bottom. That's a Pico thing. I never really cared for it. But that's where you adjust things is on the bottom. At least it sits flush. They're kind of countersunk. It's fine. Um... Up top, you have a spring-loaded 510, and this can accommodate up to a 25 millimeter atomizer without overhang. Anything bigger than that, it's not gonna fit. Uh, the battery cap's pretty standard. I like the little little notches all the way around it, the way they kind of, uh, they kind of flatten a few spots. Uh, it makes it easy to grab and twist, pop your battery out, everything's labeled, easy peasy in the battery department. And I mean, really, the mod's simple, that's it. <laughs> you can turn it up and down. There's a screen, micro USB charging. It does have two amp charging. That's good. But other than that, it's a very, very simple device. The Picos always have been. But now it takes a big ass battery. All right. So yeah, now using this battery, 
I've been vaping on this guy at about, I'm keeping it at about 55 watts on either coil that comes with this. Using this guy with the 21700 and 55 watts, you can get through about a full day with this guy. Now if you bump it up, of course, you know, it might be a little bit longer, but you can get a good full day, 55 watts. My experience, I can't say what you do, how you vape, anything, but using this mainly, I use a lot of other stuff too, but using this mainly, yeah, you can get through like a full day at that wattage, so that's good. That's good. It's not meant to be a high power thing, 100 watts. You know what I mean? It's nothing too crazy, nothing too, too crazy. But I got to say, they paired up a good tank with it, and it works well. So, yeah, it's like it's like a double-edged sword here. You got your fucking badass, big-ass battery, pretty good tank and everything. Then you got the old-school screen, buttons on the bottom. It's just a whole thing. Let me have a toke real quick. Big fan of this Elo. I like the mod, by damn near like the Elo. The, the E-Leaf, you need to get make a new Mellow tank. That's what I want to see. You killed it last year. Make a new mellow tank. This Elo is awesome. I'm liking it. So yeah, E-Leaf, you have the potential to kill it. On You're underrated. Underrated ass sub on tanks is what E-Leaf makes, all right? As far as the mod, eh, you know, it's whatever. But I think that's it, people. I think that's all I got to tell you about this guy. I don't think I missed anything. Got some venting down there on the bottom. Yeah, it's fucking pretty small. It's rounded. Fits in your hand pretty well. Pretty small. You just buy it and add juice. There it is. And they sell it without the battery, too. But you probably want to get it with the battery. It's like a $10 difference. But anyway... I think that's it, people. I think that's it. Links are in the description if you want to go look around together. I don't give a shit, 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 shit. But I did tell you, and we all know that's got to be worth something, baby. It has to be. So really, folks, with that being said, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them stinkies. That's what counts. Oh, yeah, if you liked the video, leave me a like. Dislike it if you didn't. I don't give a shit, but I had to tell you that. And last but not least, you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this E-Leaf Pico 21700 and LO sub on tank, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than pecans.